much sooner than 2031, in fact, within seven years, and something that I think is going to make a very substantial contribution to the economy of the city. And I think that's part of a uh, big part of what the mayor's job is all about, which is to do things that are going to facilitate uh, c people getting to jobs and jobs getting to people. And I think this is going to do uh, just that. I'm excited about it, and I want to look forward to working with others on the city council and the other governments uh, to make this happen. And I'm happy to answer your questions. <laughs> What's interesting to me is that all three leaders uh, in the election have said that they recognize the need for some kind of a relief line. And I believe that when they see the sensibility of this, that it gets done faster, it uses existing facilities, it serves more of the city, uh, and it does so in a way that doesn't require city taxpayers to experience a property tax increase, I think that they're going to look at this and say this uh, makes too much sense not to get on with right away uh, as a means of providing quick relief, which I think is something people are looking for. But the short of it is that Mr. Huda has been very clear he does not support electrification of the go lines, and that's the backbone of this plan. I believe that uh, if you look at provincial uh, policy, you look at a lot of the research that's been done, and you look at what's being done in other parts of the world, where they are increasingly turning to what they'll call surface subways, using existing assets to be able to get things done faster and cheaper. I actually think that's in Mr. Hudak's wheelhouse, and I think it is consistent with the fact that all three leaders have said they need to uh, construct some kind of relief, which they do, which we do, and I just believe that in the end, uh, he will sit down as would the other leaders, and I look forward to working with all three. I'm, I think I'm the only one who can uh, to make sure that this is the direction in which we proceed. Are you believe you can convince Mr. Huda to go ahead with this plan? I believe this plan makes an awful lot of sense from the standpoint of using existing assets not only to do things more cost effectively but to get things done a lot faster and get relief in place and available to people a lot sooner. Uh, and I think that, uh, and even the cost effectiveness per kilometer built and the fact that it reaches big parts of the city that aren't reached by a kind of downtown only solution will be something that any leader will look at and say, you know what, this makes way too much sense not to do. And I'm very optimistic about that. Have you been more clear on what you've wanted to do downtown. You've talked about the whole campaign about building a downtown, a young relief line subway. Now it appears to be taking a back seat to this smart track plan. Can I, can I, can I just correct you on two accounts? First of all, I have not used the expression downtown quite specifically because I was looking for and we were working very hard on a proposal that brought transit to all parts of the city as well as providing relief on the Young Street line. Secondly, um, I have referred to a Young Street relief line. You want to talk about relief that's going to be provided sooner to people, uh, including on the Young Street subway that are jammed into those trains and can't get on them at all? This is going to do it in seven years versus Olivia Chow's proposal, which will do it in not less than seven years. And so this is going to be a substantial relief to travelers on the Young Street line as well as providing transit service for the first time to places like Northeast and Northwest uh, Toronto and I think in that sense it accomplishes both and I'm very proud of the fact that we can do something that makes so much sense and that does those things all at the same time. What about building the subway line subway line that's been talked about that's referred to as the downtown line, when would that happen? Well, look, I'm one of those people who believes from my experience in running big organizations before, you can only have so many priorities, otherwise you have none. And so I've been very clear in stating what my top two priorities are. Building the Scarborough subway as agreed, unlike Olivia Chow who will cancel it, and uh, getting on with this uh, regional express line, this smart track uh, proposal. And uh, I will put then other proposals behind that. I would continue with the work on the planning work on the downtown uh, line, and uh, but it would fall behind these top two. Uh, I've been very clear on what my top two priorities are from the beginning, and that those are my top two. John, you've been attacking Olivia for going slow on, on the relief line, and yet you're, you, you yourself would delay that subway relief line further because of this is replacing itself. I have been critical of Ms. Chow for not providing any relief for 17 years. This is going to provide significant relief to the Young Street commuters and the university subway commuters in seven years. Be very clear, a big part of the benefits, and I would maybe want to call up just that diagram that showed the existing flow of people in to the Young Street subway on the buses and down to Kipling and places like that. This is going to provide a significant, faster, uh, and fair equipment.